Warning! Bitag Live Morning caters to mature audiences. Topics discussed are particularly on hot, timely, current issues purposely intended for Filipino viewers and listeners worldwide. Discussions may contain language that may not be appropriate for some sensitive audiences. If you do not approve of the content listed above, please do not watch our videos. If you wish to continue, we strongly advise that you proceed with caution. Viewer maturity is advised. Yeah, kaya, kaya ito hong sinasabi ng iba, malay ang listahan na yan. Who are you to say that? Ma, na, nakita niyo ba ang listahan ng araw na hindi naman pinansin ng dalawang presidente ng nakaraan? Nandiyan si President B.S. Aquino, si Binigno S. Aquino, nandiyan si Makapagal Arroyo. They have the list. Ginamit ba nila? Inilantad ba nila sa publiko? That list was considered confidential. Ngayon ho, in the spirit of freedom of information, ginamit ho ng palasyo, ginamit ho nila para ilabas. Kaya sabi ng palasyo, ba't namin babaguhin yung listahan yan? Tapos tatanggalin namin. Eh, that was the, the list in the past and we're only trying to use it now. Iba sa kanilang patay na at lumalawak pa yan. In fact, nadagdagan pa nga yan eh. In fact, at this point, marami naglabasan ho. Kasi, eh, eh, kumbaga, kahit na nga ho yung mga dating uh, mga national security advisor ng mga presidente, they ask for that list. And I'm sure na si General Santiago nagbigay din ng kanyang listahan. At etong si Kakdak, ewan natin, para puro dakdak ng dakdak na lang ata. May nabigay kaya yan, Sus Mario Josep. Malay natin. You get what I'm saying? Kaya kung titingnan ho natin, you need to be an out-of-the-box tactician and a strategy, and a strategist in order for you to do this. You were able to, kung kumbaga, the, the president being an unorthodox, unconventional president, <laughs> ang nangyari ho, he was able to outmaneuver, outsmart, outwit, outflank. Yun hong sinasabing nasa industriya ho ng sinasabi nating narco politics or narco state. We're about to be in a narco state where a lot of people, mga officials of sa police, nandyan ho yung mga nasa husgado, nandyan ho yung mga nasa lokal na pamahalaan. Can you imagine that? Ngayon, inisip po ni President Digong, and I'm reading the mind of President Digong as being si Bita Glyph doing analysis. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. You know, it takes years to build up evidence, pieces of evidence, strong enough to convict and thereby get a conviction from these people involved in drugs. And that's a fact. But then again, nakita nitong isang presidente na to ng pangalan Rodrigo Duterte, nakita niya, sabi niya, wait, wait a minute, it'll take years. Matatapos ang termino ko, baka it will take 20 years na yung listahan niyan, paso na patay na yung iba dyan, hindi pa na ilalabas, might as well ilabas na natin para sila yung maglabasan, magpaliwanag. You see the impact? And everybody just got out of their, sabihin na ho natin, mga lungga nila, nagtalunan, naglabasan, all of a sudden, hindi totoo yan. You see what happened? Look at, look at what happened ang ginawa ng isang strategies. Kumbaga, ang ginawa ni President Duterte, he used the word F-O-I. Freedom of information, and you have access now to that particular information considered confidential. Listahan ho na mga nasa nasa intelligence community, and now he's sharing it to the people, and then pinakikita niya ho ililabas niya listahan. True or false? Who cares? It's information has already been vetted. It already sinala na ho yani. Tining na na ho yani ang intelligence community. Iba dyan, na-convict na. Iba dyan, binigyan na. Iba dyan, nasa radar screen na. Iba naman, tinitiktikan pang iba dyan, patay na. Iba dyan, talagang involved. So na naglabasan sila. You see, it only took just a warning and just a statement on that particular night na hindi ko inaasahan. All of a sudden, the next day, naglabasan sila sa mga lungga nila. Nagpapaliwanag sa mga stasyon. Nagpista ho yung mga broadcast media. At inilabas ho yan Nagulat naman, naging kulel at yung dyaryo. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Uh, if you build up evidence on a certain personality, allegedly, or involved, sabihin na natin, not allegedly, involved in, in, in drugs, you need to have good evidence, pieces of evidence that will definitely link them. 
you know, hard evidence enough to be uh, prosecuted and convicted. Importante yun eh. Para sa mga legal, para sa mga hukuman, para sa mga huwes, para sa sino man, yun lagi sa sabihin, presumption of innocent uh, until proven guilty in the court of law. Eh, si Duterte ho kasi, he's not afraid to name names. Who cares about the due process, sabi niya? He ginamit niya lang. Again, inuulit ko dito niyo ng parang, ginamit niya ho, sinasabing the freedom of information, their information, if you want it, you can get it. Here it is. As a confidential information before, it's no longer confidential, it's public. 